welcome to the channel living in denver colorado we are the denver guys we're coming at you from a mile high every day uh, my name is Joshua Gray. This is Jason Moscato. We are both licensed real estate agents here in the state of Colorado. And today on this channel, we're going to go over everything you need to know about Littleton because that's what we do on this channel. We talk about everything that you need to know about living in Denver. Denver, you know, all the cool spots. And we even have a lot of cool little secret spots too. So make hiking sure you can biking. Yeah, a lot of hiking and biking, Park of course. course. <laughs> but hey, if this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead, guys go ahead and subscribe like comment and then make sure you ring that bell because we're coming out with videos every single week um, you're not going to want to miss them we're immersing you in all everything denver colorado denver colorado in surrounding areas yeah it's, there's a lot of cool a lot of cool stuff this place is great yeah love it. so stick around um little tip <laughs> Littleton, Colorado. Um, actually, kind of cool about Littleton, Colorado. Um, the median home price here in Littleton, Colorado is five hundred and six thousand. So, um, but if you guys don't want to own a house, that's fine too. So the median home price or rental, sorry, median rental price uh, for a one bedroom, you're looking at about fifteen hundred, roughly. Uh, for a two bedroom, it's about eighteen hundred. Then you start getting into the three bedrooms, uh, you're looking at about twenty five hundred. And then when you start getting up into that four bedroom range and on up, you're looking at 2,800 to, you know, plus, plus yes, yeah, plus, 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 plus. <laughs> depending on, you know, the location to some of the, um, you know, the, the, the activities there and, and some of the highlights that we're going to be going over here. So yeah, <laughs> actually, we'll just go ahead and move into number one. Number one is I'm going to talk about is the schools actually. And actually they were, uh, Littleton schools are actually rated in the top 20 of the safest and most secure in all the country. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Um, they also have um, some of the highest academic awards and some of them have won uh, seven years in a row. So if you guys are worried about schooling for your kids, Littleton's the place to be at. They get, got awards. Yeah, yep. awards are great. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like Josh said, it's uh, you know one of the safest um, cities. It's within the top 51% in the whole nation. The nation the, guys. The safest. Um, you know, I don't really hear much coming out of there, oh, really. Uh, so, of. yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's that's number one is the schools. Um, so you're getting a lot of cool, great, you know, accredited schools coming out of Littleton. And safety, guys. Safe, safe. So yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Littleton's huge on um, families, community, and you know, schools and uh, you know, safety. Safety, safety, safety. Don't forget safety, guys. Keep it safe. <laughs> <laughs> number two. <laughs> All right, so on number two, we're gonna be going over the light rail. Light rail, uh, actually through Littleton, they have the C and D line. Um, so it actually makes it really, really easy to commute and go do adventures and stuff like that. Um, Littleton is actually located about 10 miles south of Denver, yeah. next to Highlands Ranch and stuff. So yeah. yeah, pretty close. Yeah, you got Highlands Ranch, Centennial right there. Um, so it gives you quick access to downtown. And with all these awesome um, transportation with the light rail, RTD buses, yeah. you're like just steps away to get anywhere in the metro area. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And that, that's another thing we, uh, we're very environmentally conscious here. So taking the light rail really does help keep down on the emissions, keeps everybody healthy. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, all right guys. Number three. We're doing hiking and biking on this one. Hiking, biking on every one of them. Every one of them. Every one. Remember, there's 1,400 acres of green space and over 200 miles of trails. Trails, yeah. There's lots of trails. Lots of trails. Um, you know, you can check out the geological wonders in the Roxborough State Park. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, you're like immersed in like the red rock formations. Um, that's super cool down there. It's like right up against the foothills. Um, and you also have the, you know, the Waterton Canyon trail too, right there near it. 
not so much Littleton. Maybe might be kind of a little out of, of Littleton, but hey, it's right next it's to close. the Rock Square Park. Yeah, it's close. So that could be. That. It's kind of like a little secret spot, to be honest. Um, so don't tell anybody about that one. It's you know you got the Waterton Canyons, you know, trail. It's actually a trail that's developed from the um, the water company, Denver Water. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it has like a little, it's kind of like a flat road, kind of, it's unpaved, but it's super cool to bring your bikes on there. Really easy trail, but it's, it's got some good miles to it down there too. Yeah? So, yeah. Like what, 30, 40? Uh, we'll post it below. I'm not sure exactly <laughs> on that, but it's kind of like a canyon too, so it's super cool. You're kind of like right up, you know, in the middle of the canyon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like rock formations on both sides. Oh, oh thinking of rocks, Roxborough Park. Yep, yep, yeah. Roxborough Park is right there too. Where you South got, Platte Park? Yep, South Platte Park, uh, well, that brings you to that eight mile um, trail. Give me that trail name. We're gonna post that at the yep, bottom. We'll post that trail down <laughs> below. That's a good eight mile one, quick, easy, fast one. Quick, easy, quick, easy, <laughs> cool. eight mile. <laughs> Nobody says that. <laughs> no. Nobody says, yeah, on it's a just bike, a quick eight miles. Quick on a bike, oh, that's you're pretty driving, quick. that's yeah, no problem. It's yeah. eight miles away, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So there's plenty of plenty of trails, pretty of, plenty of uh, open space, green space. Um, there's lots of, lots to do so far. Yeah. And we're not even close to being done yet. Yeah, where Littleton's located, like on the south, it's kind of even a little west of Denver, kind of like that way, kind of? Kind of that way. Is that's, it kind of west? Is that mountains are over there. I know, but if they're looking, it's kind of like that. All right, fair enough. Okay. You're kind of like nestled up against the foothills and stuff, so it gives you a lot of cool access to a lot of the trails and uh, the, the beautiful foothills. And if you're actually moving here from Denver, an actual direction is toward the mountains or away from the mountains, because everybody knows that the mountains are west. West, yeah. You'll start figuring it out. Everything is west, or you know where you're at according to the mountains to your west. I, I, I taught Leela that. Yeah. I said, yeah. so which way is west, babe? She goes toward the mountains. I was like, yeah, can it. Dang, boom. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. So actually, in Littleton, there is a really cool lake called? Chatfield Lake State Park. So, I mean, on that, that's actually like... Lake State Park. Lake State Park? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. It's Chatfield Lake. It yeah, was just funny the way you said it. Yeah. I mean, like, in the Denver metro area, it's really, like, the only, like, real lake, though, right? Yeah. I mean, that, like, you can get, like, boats and jet skis and, you know, water skiing and... That's where we went for 4th of July last year. Yeah. Yep. And on jet skis. Actually, the one this year, too. Yeah. Right. yeah so, <laughs> hey, we know all about it, so... Um, we also, actually, we have a uh, full vlog tour of Chatfield Lake, too, so make sure you guys check out that video. Right. right. Actually, Next it's going to be, be up here. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that thing offers everything, huh, Josh? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's awesome. I love that. You can, I think you can actually do camping there too, can't you? You can bust up the big motors too, the V8s, yeah, you, know, you know, the, yeah. the real deal. The real boats, deal right there. You know. Anyway, we're gonna go over that in a lot more in depth, but let's talk about some trails. Man, they got trails galore. Green spaces to, um, uh, what is it, uh, 26 mile trail through the park. There's 26 miles, 13 miles of that is all paved. And that's in the state park itself. Dang. I know, I know. What else does it offer? Oh, uh, you know what it actually really offers? Some amazing views. For real. Because you were right there uh, alongside a mountain, basically. And it's it's just, it's actually really, really pretty. You I mean, it's just a perfect place to go and hang out at the beach and put your toes in the water. Uh, my daughter absolutely loved it. And the weird thing was, too, is that people around there are, it's not weird. It's, but it, <laughs> it, it, the people are super friendly there. Um, like when we went there last year, my daughter was pretty small at the time, and people were like, "Yeah, you want to, you know, come over here and play." The, they had this big tube thing that they had on the water. And my daughter's <laughs> yeah. playing on this thing, sliding off the edge, and they're grabbing, throwing her back up. It was fun. Yeah, it's a good time. They can bring the dogs, you know, bring the family. They got picnic table areas. Yeah, they tried to steal my dog. Oh yeah. Remember that one guy? He's like, oh. he's like, your dog's really cool. I have two Great Danes, by the way. And so I, one of them, he was a little puppy, and this guy's like, hey, can I see your dog? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So he takes him, unhooks him from the tree, and start walking away. I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today, man. Not on my watch. <laughs> my wife's looking at me like, I was like, I, don't, I, I got it. <laughs> So watch out for your dogs and <laughs> keep a tight leash on them. You do need a leash. I don't think they allow anything longer than six uh, feet. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. So um, yeah, keep an eye <laughs> on your dogs. But hey, the Chatfield also offers a lot of other cool things like camping and um, horseback riding. 
you know, and um, paddle boarding, you can rent paddle boards and stuff like that. Yeah, but hey, you're not gonna miss thing. our full vlog tour. We're gonna go over everything on that one. I'm so not a paddle board, man. It's too yeah. much cardio. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of. Gonna stand on it. <laughs> no. I've seen like they could put the dogs on it too, which is kind of cool. But, oh yeah. Yeah. That'd I think my dog of... would just jump off it. Yeah, with, with my dog. Yeah, I don't think that would work out <laughs> as well. All right. That's cool. That's hiking and biking, just like in all of our other videos. So. <laughs> we, we keep it consistent. Yep. <laughs> Number four. All right. All right uh, we're going to go over it. downtown Littleton. Dude, downtown. It's got over 220 unique shops, galleries, like art galleries. Yep. Yeah. Really cool art scene. There. Restaurants, all kinds of fun stuff to do down there. Like? Man, they got like, they have like, annual block parties there too where they like block it all off i'm gonna do a block party those are so much fun man yeah yeah well, we just missed it well in, in june but you know oh. they just kind of had one and then um where they would block it off they do the fireworks um lots of cool vendors are out there yeah uh yeah so i mean christmas they have a chance you can meet santa claus for the kids yeah that's pretty cool um they have a candlelight walk in november yeah, they I'm kind of do like the same is. kind of thing where they kind of block it off with the Christmas kind of thing. Walk, they decorate it really cool. Walk around with a candle? Yeah. yeah. It's a super cool little trendy little strip, you know, where they have like these cool um, breweries and bars where they have the roof, you know, you can kind of chill out on the rooftop and kind of immerse yourself in all the views. So downtown is it, actually really cool. They've actually kind of, over the years, they've actually redone it and we've had new, new bigger names and restaurants kind of go into there and um, you can see the revitalization through there. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that's downtown, guys. Downtown. Got to gotta check out downtown and then, you know, downtown. Number, Number five. five. Coming so this one, we're going to go over festivals. Man, Littleton has some awesome festivals. Um, Such as the winter, uh, sorry, the Western Welcome Festival. Western Welcome Festival? Say yes. that. Welcome West, Welcome. Western Welcome Western Festival. Welcome Festival. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so on that one, they actually do some really cool stuff. They make like pancakes and they have like these stick figure things and, or stick figure stampede and it, a bunch of family friend, bunch, bunch of fun stuff. So that's actually something to be really cool to do. Yeah. Yeah. Another good one is the Somerset uh, Festival. It's like a one day thing where they have a lot of uh, craft brewer, uh, brewers, brewers, breweries, breweries, breweries. They bust out all the good beers to, um, they have a lot of cool car shows, um, some vintage classic car shows out there as well. So V8s, baby. Yeah, shoot. And then I think at the end, towards like uh, the July, um, you got the uh, the Colorado Irish Festival, which is cool. It's like a three-day event where they just bust out all kinds of games, probably a lot of drinking. <laughs> probably um, a lot of drinking. Yeah, yeah. Hey, drive safe. Drive safe. No drinking and driving. Arrive live. Don't drink and drive. But yeah, Littleton really knows how to turn it up. Um, they, summer concert series. Summer concert series. I mean, you got all the cool concerts that roll up there. And so, um, yeah, you're not going to want to miss any of those. So, um, actually, if you go to Littleton's website, they'll have a list of all the fun uh, festivals they have going on. We'll post that right here at the bottom, okay? Yep. So you can see all the fun stuff that's going to be happening. You don't want to miss none of it. Yeah, for sure. I want to go to the Irish Festival. Yeah, that might be fun. Yeah, we're doing it. So meet us down there. <laughs> we're just going to be the ones standing in the corner drunk. <laughs> GoPro, stop. All Number right, guys. Number six. Number six. Here we go. We're, we're knocking these out. I'm going to mount. Number six is the art galleries that they're down there in Littleton. Littleton is really known for their art. Um, it's got a really big art presence there. Um, one of the galleries is the... Um, Outnumbered art out, gallery. Outnumbered art gallery. Sorry, yeah. I got you. That got me? I got okay. you. You knew that I was kind of drawing a blank. Yep. I, I, I saw it. <laughs> yep. So Outnumbered Gallery, it is. It, it does showcase a lot of the local artists to the national artists, international ones, and um, it's really renowned. 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 It is renowned. Is it renowned? renowned. Okay. It's renowned. Okay. Um, We'll Google it later. Okay. Put okay. that down at the right. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> um, now the other one is actually pretty cool. It's called the Depot Art Gallery, and it actually plays homage to it pays. Huh, we're gonna get it together, guys. We're gonna it pays homage. Homage. To homage. Can we help you? Yes, <laughs> we're gonna post it down at the bottom. <laughs> uh, it pays homage to a bunch of the railroad uh, posts that are, are here in Colorado too, and it's actually very very interesting stuff. 
Yeah, like we kind of went over before with the downtown area, that does have a big art scene down there as well. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's a cool Stanton art gallery that is down there as well, where it showcases a lot of the art downtown. Uh, and you'll kind of get that little feel, it's super cool down the, the downtown area. It's got like that art see kind of feel to it. And um, if you like drinking wine and eating and checking out art, it's the way to go right here. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, also, they have at that gallery is the comedy shows. Yep. And uh, what else? They got like some theatrical um, shows as well that are kind of like educational. And um, yeah, yeah. Theatrical and comedy. Theatrical. And comedy. I love me some comedy though. So, I'll, I'll go to comedy shows all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Go for it. Number, Number seven. seven. Man, they got some awesome golf courses. I actually um, really do like golfing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, the cool, really cool one is the Arrowhead Golf Course. Um, it's like right there in the um, Roxborough State Park that we kind of segue to earlier. Um, but it is a championship golf course, and it has these amazing amenities there. And it's just the views, like you're kind of like in like a kind of like a canyon where these rock, you know, the big. Um, Red rock formations are kind of like to the right, to the left. They're everywhere. Yeah, I've not, never actually played it, but it looks like a pretty tough one. So, um, but yeah, that one, Arrowhead Golf Course. There's Let's also see. another one, it's called uh, the Raccoon Creek Golf Course. Um, that one actually has a bunch of water hazards and weird elevations and so That one's really, really challenging actually, but it also has a championship course on it as well too. So. And then uh, also have the Deer Creek one too. Deer Creek, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good one too. Um, there's another championship course on there as well. So I mean, for Littleton not being so big, they got some great golf courses um, right there that are championship. The championship courses, they <laughs> they uh, challenge. No, and that's the thing too is that <laughs> some of these places like they have a golf course, but it's not very big. These ones they're they're pretty stout. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I suggest getting a cart unless you like cardio. I mentioned before, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> he does not. I do not. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Number, Number eight, eight, the final one is all the awesome restaurants and breweries that it has to offer. Such um, as? Such as you have Harley's, <laughs> it's the hot dog revolution. That one's pretty cool. Um, and then if you're looking for some breakfast kind of things, you got the Cafe Terracotta. Amazing breakfast. You're not going to want to uh, miss that one. Then they also have the farmhouse, which is at the Breckenridge Brewery, which kind of has an amazing brewery there too. Yeah, and then they also have the St. Patrick's Brewery as well. So if you like breweries, you know, that's the one thing about Colorado, we have a lot of breweries. Man, craft brews, if you guys like craft beer, Colorado, Denver is the place to be. They got so craft breweries. Actually, uh, a couple years ago, me and some of my friends, we actually rode our bikes throughout downtown and stopping off at a bunch of breweries. <laughs> yeah. So we were drinking and then we got on a bike and then we went to the next one. Um, towards the end, it was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that, yeah. Um, beginning, it was fun. We had a good time. It was a blast. Uh, towards the end, it got a little sketchy though. Man, they got those, uh, those, they got those pedal <laughs> tables. Have you seen those? Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, get like a group cool. of people that'll get on them and you, everybody pedals and it's like a bar kind of like on wheels. But you know, that's pedal. only fun until like you start getting towards the end of that and people fall off and they're putting their feet up. Like they're like pretending like they're pedaling and we're the ones always pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just pretending like they're doing it. I don't want to pedal with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but they have those like downtown too, but then they have them in a different little area. Yeah, they're actually pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, All right, so that's that's everything we got today on Littleton, Colorado. Um, does have a, a bunch of stuff to offer. Make sure you guys check out the, the full vlog tour of the Chatfield Lake. Um, we go fully in depth on everything on that too. Um, on this channel, we go over everything Denver, Colorado. We absolutely love it here, guys, But and we also love doing these videos. Um, it, it gives us lots of time to actually learn more about our state that maybe we didn't know about. Yeah. Um, but more than anything, we love doing these videos as we are also licensed real estate agents here. Uh, my name is Joshua Gray, this is Jason Moscato. We're licensed agents here in the state of Colorado and more than anything, we would love to help you uh, find a new home here in Colorado and see what fits best for you. So make sure you check out all of our videos so you can find the best place for you. 
yeah, that's what we're doing here. You know, we're going over all the different cities, everything Denver, um, so you guys can figure out what's best for you, you know? So, um, we are your resource, you know? Hit us up, comment, you know, hit us up. Here's our phone number right here. We love answering your calls, texts, emails, anything, you can, any, any questions you guys have, that's what we're here for. And you know, literally, we're the ones that answer the phones, so don't hesitate to just throw, throw a text at us. Yeah. Especially late at night. Yeah, that's a you Josh, thing. Josh, I'll do early you. mornings, he'll do late nights. Okay, I'll take it. All right. <laughs> but hey, if, if this is your first time, you know, guys, make sure you're subscribing to the channel. And like and comment. Yep, like and comment. And then, uh, you know, make sure you're ringing that bell because we're coming out with videos every single week. You're not going to want to miss them. Thanks for watching.